Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, joined by Dennis from Windwheel Slam. Dennis, welcome. Welcome indeed. I shouldn't say welcome to myself, that's rude. How are you doing? I'm I'm doing awesome. We're both doing so good, far, man. I am going to level with you guys right now, all and gals and all in between. I am super, 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 super tired. So if I'm a little bit less animated than my usual overtly charming self, that's why I Yes, I know, Dennis. You gotta work. You're gonna be working real hard this episode. I need your focus. Oh, I need your right. full attention. Let's do it. Here we go. There you go. All right. So last week, we had cautious illusionist versus mystical mentor. Mystical As mentor. it turns out, Dennis was cautious illusionist. I was mystical mentor. Thank you everybody for voting. The results are in, and I won by two votes. Dan, we every by single a nose week hair. is on off. I win. You and I win. You and I win. You win. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. If we look at the results here, it's three to three. We are getting – this is, could not be closer. Literally. This is insane. <laughs> so let's quickly critique each other's cards. Why don't you tell them uh, how lo- – it took It took Dennis a full week to design his card, didn't it? Right, Dennis? Yeah, totally a full week. Totally didn't. <laughs> All right. Last week, I got a text from Alex when I was on the toilet. And it said, hey, you free to do the show? And I was like, sure, now? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, all right. And between then and when I finished being on the toilet was the time it took me to design my card. <laughs> that was it. Took you like 15 minutes. It took, Meanwhile, me, like, it took me like 15 seconds, honestly. Oh like, God. And look how good you did. Do you know how right? this and my card design? I'll, I'll be honest. This was an old design I had that I already knew had crushed. It was on Custom Magic, and it got like a ton of upvotes. And I redesign, I retooled it, and I'm like, this one's gonna be a killer. I barely beat you, and this is like one of my tried and true, like designs that already had a bunch of really positive feedback. So it was like, All it blew my mind, text, man. Let me tell you. Yeah, you are just. Cr- I had no idea how far that flavor text was gonna go. That is crazy. <laughs> All right, so three to three. Neck and neck. We've got a lot of commenter cards to get through, so let's start jamming them. First and foremost, we've got Steam Vince, who Hello, likes we got Miles doing the weekly card. Reckless Researcher. Three mana, one, two. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, you may sacrifice Reckless Researcher. If you do, you may copy that instant or sorcery. If that instant or sorcery has converted mana cost three or less, you may copy it again. You may choose new targets for each copy. Then flavor text, they called me mad. I'll show them. I'll show them all. That is an Like the flavor card. text. Flavor text is very good. Flavor text is good. Card design is really sweet. I don't like the name. My one problem with the and my only reason I don't like the name is it's not rare sounding enough. There's <laughs> hapless researcher, which is a common. And for some reason, this immediately reminds me of that. But I like... Every other aspect of this card. Maybe the art is a little bit too Mod- not That's magic. not Miles' fault, though. Yeah. Uh, love- but yes, I agree. That the card is well-designed. I like it. I think my favorite part is actually the flavor text. Mm. I could see this being printed in uh, Shadows Over Innistrad. The totally. Mad Scientist. Yeah, totally. Okay, next. We have Estuary Scrounger. This is from Marauder on Reddit. And... Uh, He made a cycle of cards, but we're just going to be presenting the one. Mm -hmm. So, Estuary Scrounger, two and a blue for a 2-2 elemental rare. It has Skulk. It has when it enters the battlefield or is recycled, draw a card. It has Evoke, and it has Recycle. This is a lot of things. I don't think this card needs Skulk, honestly. Yes, I agree. If you were going to ditch one ability, I agree it should also be Skulk. The others all interact with each other. Yeah, I I do think that is kind of i see the point here it it, it's a great it's a cool rare and the recycle mechanic is uh apparently marauder did not come up with the recycle mechanic i forgot he gave me a name to give credit to it so i apologize i don't have that name but someone on the custom magic subreddit came up with the recycle mechanic and marauder just wanted to make sure that i didn't give him credit he wanted me to technically give them a credit and i did if i was going to recycle here the good thing about that is that turns this means this card that can be one blue blue draw two cards yeah. The second of which, which is, you can do an instant speed. I assume. Which is really oh, no, no, sorry, recycling is the source of my mistake. But um that's great. The card doesn't need skulk. No need for that. I agree. No skulk. Otherwise, very good. Moving on. We have a lot to get through. I'm sorry. Yeah. We can't do long comments on too many cards. Next by sorry, name taken. Owl of the Fates, two in a blue, two one flying. When it deals combat to a uh, player, choose one. Fate seal one or scry one. Flavor text, the fates can be fickle. The owl even more so. 
Um, I think you can just template that as you may look at the top top target the top card of target players library. You may put it on the bottom of that place library. You don't need to do fate seal one scry one. I uh I personally have an issue with fate seal. I actually really like the mechanic, mechanic, but Mark Rosewater has commented and fate seal is only, he didn't say hundred percent, but almost assuredly not coming back. Yeah after it's, they it, it's, it just feels bad. It is a very feel bad mechanic. So I think if this were just scry one whenever it deals combat damage, then I guess it wouldn't be quite good enough. Maybe it could be scry two every time it dealt damage. That's but then it's but then it's exactly Wind Rider Patrol, so uh except yeah. cheaper. And maybe something I, I like to deal combat damage, do something. Maybe scry one and one other choice. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But uh okay, moving on. Thought Snatcher. Two and a blue for a two two. I don't even know. Human wizard. Uh, rare, flash. When it enters the battlefield, exile target instant or sorcery spell with convert mana cost two or less. Players can't cast spells with the same name as cards exiled with Thought Snatcher. That's Flavor cool. text, you gave me an idea. That's I actually really like good. This card. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that flavor text is amazing. You gave me an idea and Get snatched it, it away. Get it? Oh. I like it. One part I don't like. Why is it such a narrow uh, incident or sorcery? It doesn't have to be so small. Um, it could be. Th it could could have been three or less. And yeah. It wouldn't have been a big deal. You get a two one maybe. I don't know why it needed to be two or less. I guess because it's exile, so and it's it not like even. Yeah. It's better than counter spell. So even uncounterable things still. Well, it's get dissipate. Hit by it's it. dissipate, but with a creature. Uh, wait, it, dissipate counters still, right? Well, this is the same as countering. This is better because it exiles. Well, dissipate exiles it too. What was that? Dissipate exiles as well. No, but I think dissipate is counter target spell and exile it instead. It's not exile target spell. What's the difference? So if a spell were uncounterable, this could actually still hit it. That's true. That's dumb. So I think this should actually be counter target yeah oh i see no counter target spell then exile it and then they can't cast spells yeah with the yeah yeah that's, that's that's a good point that's a very good point yeah i assume yeah you don't want to make a hit on counterable stuff i assume so that is the only thing i would fix on this other than that awesome card big fan all right roll them roll them on yeah we're gonna have to uh at the end of all these though we're gonna have to choose one there can only be one like highlander well i have that... thoughts not so far Okay, I think I agree. I think Thought Snatcher is on top here. Next, we have Archmage's Assistant by Greg Smith. Two and a blue, two, two. Instant and sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast. Blue and tap. Look at the top three cards of your library. Reveal an instant or sorcery card from among them, mm -hmm. among them. Put it in your hand. Put the rest in the bottom in any order. Flavor text. Best assistant I've ever had. Knows what I want before I even ask. Better still, she didn't study at the academy, so I can pay her in coppers. That's cool. <laughs> um, my only gripe with this card is that it's incredibly difficult to say. Archmage's assistant. Imagine yeah. being on coverage, you'd be like, and he's gonna cast his Archmage's assistant, and he activates his ability off his Archmage's assistant, and he reveals two more Archmage's assistants off the top. Like you're done. That's true. There's too many assists. Uh, it's too many assists noises it's in a row. But yeah. what do you think about the card itself? The design's fine. I don't love the flavor text. The design itself is fine. It's um makes things cheaper, which is nice. It's got the um. God, what's that card called? The two mana one three disciple of Bolas. Disciple of what's that called? Uh, Augur of Bolas. Augur of Bolas got an Augur of Bolas stitch to it, which is cool. Yeah, it's a fine card. I feel like it doesn't strike me as a rare. That's my because it's an assistant. Well, it's you a know? oh, you mean flare? Ah, uh, nah, I wouldn't worry. I, I, don't, I don't know if I agree with that. Well, that's my complaint, not Dennis's. No, but fine. if it was an assistant, it doesn't feel like a rare. You know, assistant would be like, oh, it's just my common or my uncommon. Sure. Uh, okay, moving on. Aether Binder. By Jacob Nielsen. Two and a blue, two, three. Illusion Wizard. Ooh, Interst okay. And he did an amendment. I think, I forget, he, he may have tr shaded, changed it to uh, Fading Counters or something. Now yeah. I, I feel s foolish forgetting. I think it was, though. Aether Binder enters the battlefield with three Aether Counters. Whenever a player plays an instant or sorcery spell, remove an Aether Counter from Aether Binder, and you may end the turn. Ugh. Flavor text. With a flash... My spell and I disappeared into the Aether. I returned and found myself mindlessly doing the same thing over and over again. Jay Spellerin. I don't I don't love it. I don't it like the whole end the turn thing. I don't like that. I know time stop and all that are cool, but I don't like it. It's a weird rules thing. I can, I can do whatever you want, rare and all that, but it's a weird rules thing. 
the art, which I know I said isn't his fault, is clearly a picture of an astronaut. <laughs> um, uh, You're going to be really weirded out by this, Dennis. Uh, we'll show you on the next page. Keep that artwork in mind, though. It won't be uh -oh. difficult. Um, so, yeah, uh, I I feel as though it's a little bit too powerful because... It's just confusing, and it's like... Yeah, it just... I think it, he said it was too powerful, too. So it did need to have, like, fading. I think it's too complex. Like what? What's going on here? How did How did that possibly happen? Okay, by Colossal MTG, Omission Mage, with somehow the same astronaut art. How two mm. people stumbled upon astronaut art for uh, Mage. It's like they Google imaged a uh, wizard and somehow an astronaut came up. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But Omission Mage, two in a blue, two, two, rare human wizard with flash. When it enters the battlefield, choose one. Counter target spell unless its controller pays three. Mm -hmm. Return target creature to its owner's hand. Draw mm -hmm. a card. And then when Omission Mage leaves the battlefield, you may two, pay two in a blue if you do return it to its owner's hand. Feels like way too much stuff on this. It's not way too much stuff, I don't think, because it's a modal ability. I think the last ability is, makes the card way too strong. I, but I love the... Yeah, I agree, actually. Just If it just had Flash, choose choose one of those. This would be a great card, and it would be played a lot. Um, I feel like the... Yeah, actually, all those modes are probably equally playable. Counter yeah. spell, bounce, draw. All great. Like them all. Um, that la having it recur whenever it dies is insane. Yeah, I think so, too. Hey, you're the one that did uh, the Cautious Illusionist. Yeah. You're the one to talk about uh, the abilities. Right, mine, mine, mine would have gotten in the band, but whatever. Yeah. Archmage of Wits. We've got another Archmage here. Two and a blue, one, one, human wizard. When it enters the battlefield, reveal the top five cards of your library, choose a card, gain control of target creature with power less than the chosen cards convert mana cost, put all other cards revealed this way on the bottom of your library in any order. It doesn't say what to do with the card that you reveal. Oh, yeah. So are you supposed to be putting um, it in your hand? or? Oh, it's yeah, by also... Matthias Kangashaka, by the way. I The card is interesting. Um, I think you should, if you get to put the card in your hand, it's too strong, maybe... Um, I think you should just look at the top five, do that, and then put them back in any order. That'd be cool, and too. Index, like, I think that's fine. Kind of a cool, unique effect, though, which I am... Um, it's cool, I like that. I do like. Next, we have Force of William by Mike's Game Domain. Mm -hmm. uh, two and a blue, two, one flash. You may pay one life in exile, blue card from your hand, rather than pay Force of William's mana cost. When you cast Force of William, counter target spell. Flavor text, I'm here now, you are dismissed. Problem with this is, and this is right up my alley, I'm honest. Force of William doesn't that's not a creature name. You yeah, know? That's that's still like an instant or sorcery here, right? Yeah. Um I just don't like it because Force of Will is like it's too good already. The only yeah, reason Force yeah, of Will that. exists the only reason it exists is because it's necessary evil in vintage and legacy to like prevent those nasty one and two turn combos from going off. Yeah, wait, so, this is just way, 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 way Force of Will. Is way what? Right? This is just way better than Force of Will? Yeah, it's also like two mana... Two mana cheaper. On the top end. And you can't make a, a better Force of Will. This card would be worth a lot of money and would be a it's strict It's two mana cheaper if you hard cast it and it also leaves behind a two one. Yeah, I feel like too good. And it even has the added benefit of being able to like blink it and counter more spells and stuff so yeah this card's way insane <laughs> too good i'm sorry being of the mind by nicholas westgard two in a blue one one uh illusion hexproof being of the mind is unblockable as long as there are 10 or more cards in your opponent's graveyard uh, opponent's graveyards i'm assuming or maybe one i don't know when being of the mind deals combat damage to a player you may pay two blue if you do, target opponent puts the top five cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Flavor text. The real threat is not what you face on the battlefield, but what lurks within your mind in its darkest corners. What do and that think? flavor text is better if you don't have in the darkest corners at the end of it. Um, <laughs> well, yeah. um, the card is fine. Not overtly powerful. Not amazingly interesting, but like a nice little interesting... Like It's not that interesting, but it's a nice card. It's fine. Totally printable. Totally reasonable. Yes, I think so too. I actually like this card. I feel like it's a mythic icon, though. I'm not gonna Mi demerit you for uh, that, yeah. but do keep pay attention to that icon. There are some spelling errors as well, but that is okay. 
Yeah, for some reason, some like capitalization things. But I'm not going to hold that against you either. I actually like the card. The Hexproof being unblockable and uh, feeding the – like basically it feeds itself to get unblockable if you can get in early. Mm -hmm. And then I like that it basically is just ripping your opponent's deck apart. Very cool card. Uh, next, we have Bruce Niger, Old Man on the Hill, 2 and a blue, 2 1. If there are two more instant or sorceries in your graveyard at the beginning of any instep, transform Old Man on the Hill. Um, that in the front text is that weird old man never does or says anything, but he always seems to be watching. And then the flip side is Prophet of the Moon, which becomes a human wizard, 2 4. Whenever you play an instant or sorcery card, choose one, transform target creature or investigate. And then the flavor text is cool. The time for reckoning has finally come. So I would have loved to have seen card art for this one, but I'm not going to hold that I against you. So I don't get what's going on here. So I guess he can channel the moon and he can make people flip into werewolves. That's fine. Why is he investigating stuff? Is that just mechanical addition? I think because he's a prophet, right? So he can like tell uh, what's sure. going. So he's like a. Psychic. I really actually, I, re I really like that card. I think it's cool. I'm down with it. I, I kind of understand what's going on. Actually, I don't quite understand why it's flipping. Oh, because it's a profit, so it knows when things are transforming? Because mm -hmm. it's related to the moon, I assume. Oh, he yeah. always seems to be watching. Okay. He doesn't say anything, but he always seems to be watching. So he's, like, paying attention. To... I don't understand why he would make people transform, but I understand you're trying to make him have, like, a Maybe he's a prophet of the moon. Maybe. That's what I mean. Maybe he's, like, channeling moon stuff i'm kind of reaching moon powers and making stuff transform all right we've already taken too much time i do like the card and then next we have annie not annie annie cow haunted haze two and a blue rare illusion when haunted haze blocks a creature it becomes an aura attached to the blocked creature enchanted creature gets minus four minus zero when enchanted creature dies return thought shadow to your hand flavor text this can't be right is this so familiar where am zero four and then it says, play off Haunted Maze, but it's a mental haze, throwback flavor-wise to Mice in the Mind Cage. I'd have to look that card up. I forgot that one. And being a reoccurring annoyance. Hopefully it's good, but not too powerful. What do you Definitely think? Definitely not too powerful. Definitely not too powerful. Um, I, I think it's a very good card. Like, the card design is fine. I don't think the card itself is very good, personally. Like, I don't like, you know, I mean, they still get to just block with the creature forever, you know? I don't think this needed to be rare. Yeah, this probably could have gotten away with no, uncommon. I think it's well, I think it's rare because it's a complexity thing where like creatures becoming yours and returning to your hand. Like that's yeah. a whole thing. Um, I guess they used so to think, do that with uncommons, but maybe not. It's in not the modern. I don't day. think it's strong enough. I think it needs to be stronger. Okay, final two. Final two. Uh, Matt C. Uh, who voted for your? Oh, my favorite. You got to read this one out loud. Please read this one out loud <laughs> at the from the top. I'm, Matt sees his is. I My vote that. is for constitutionists because I don't want to vote for Dennis two weeks in a row. Perfect. Ha! Gotcha. That's amazing. Just immediately voted for you anyway. He didn't want to vote for you, so what did he do? He voted for you. My card creation for this week is an unhinged, unglued Slap card. Slapcaster mage. Slap mage. Two and a blue creature anime waifu do you know what the, i don't watch anime so i don't understand that what's a waifu or... a waifu is like as far as i know i'm not an anime guy either but as far as i know a waifu is like a, a female character that like uh, say i pick you know hatsune miku or whatever and i'm like oh she's my waifu i love her and she's we had this relationship and she's not real stuff and i can get a pillow with her on it and i like i hug it when i sleep and all this stuff or it just means wife um That's but weird. i'm pretty sure it's like a waifu is meant to be like a fictional thing. so please Feel free to yeah, crucify me in the comments for getting that wrong. Not too many comments about it. Once one person's done it, we're good. We don't need like cool. twenty waifu comments. That'd twenty to sense. twenty-five waifu comments. I feel like right. there's gonna All be waifu plenty. Comments we counted as votes for Dennis from here on. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Any waifu comment counts as a is a mm -hmm. vote for Dennis. So in in retrospect, just don't do it. Flash, not yet. Uh, new ability: the game cannot end while this card is on the stack. Includes conceding. I love that. When Slapcaster Mage enters the battlefield, slap target opponent. If an opponent attempts to concede, you may cast Slapcaster Mage from anywhere. Flavor text, if you are bad, waifu mad. And then she snaps and you get slaps. That's cool, but that mechanic doesn't do anything. <laughs> I'm like, I concede. You're like, ha, ah, Slapcaster Mage. I'm like, cool, resolves. I concede. <laughs> like, you know? Yeah, let's, we're going to take this safe political route here. Whose card is anyway does not condone violence? 
well, at any time. I can tell him plenty of violence, just not necessarily, you know, of the waifu variety. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is the wife slapping the 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 spouse, I presume. So it's yeah, okay. Well, you right? know, male domestic abuse is woefully underreported, but I don't know. I don't think this is neither the time nor the platform for that discussion. Yes, moving on. <laughs> Still, it's a funny. It's a funny card. No, it is. Uh, Mathems. This is from Seems Good Magic. Thank you very much for the p- nice podcast. I like it, and I hope it will continue for a long time. All of us from Germany. Germany. Well, thank you, my German friend. Uh, Dennis, you're much closer to him, so why don't you go visit? Give him a personal visit and tell him thank you. Germany, I am much closer. All right, I'll read the card. My card okay. design for this week would be... No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> my card design for this week would be Alter Al- Alatar that disappeared. Tuna Blue, creature, human wizard, presumably a legendary creature. 2-3. Tap to do one damage to target creature. Ooh, it's not really a blue thing anymore. If this creature would die this turn, do an additional point of damage to that creature's controller. It hurts from nowhere. It kills with instant might. Um, that's fine. Um, but blue doing direct damage isn't a thing that... It'll, I know Prodigal Source and all that back in the day, but I don't really do that anymore. Out of color by... Good, good, good point, Dennis. Unfortunately, not in blue anymore, but... Uh... I, I like the name, Hard and I think you yeah. and you apologize for your poor English. Well, your English is just fine, so yes. no problems there either. All right, finally, card suggestion <sighs> for this week's episode from Talon Moon, uh, who's now two weeks in a row. So we better not choose you a third week in a row. That would deliberately going to not pick Talon Moon's thing for next week, and like the other guy, it okay. obviously end up picking it. And then, of course, every week after that, we'll go back to Talon Moon. So, yeah. um. Suggestion, back when Return to Ravnica came out, I felt underwhelmed of the Is It Guild uh, leader, Guild's leader, Melek Is It Paragon, so I would like you to make a better Is It leader. You and me both, buddy. Not so technically the Guild leader, just the Maze Runner, but I'll let that slide. So here, yes, here is Melek Is It Paragon. It is. Uh, four, four, a blue and a red for a 2-4 weird wizard, who's a rare. Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may cast the top card of your library if it's an instant or sorcery card. And whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell from your library, copy it. You may choose new targets for the copy. So what did you think about the... What did you think about Malik? Um, This is quite when I, when I was starting to get really get into magic this time around. And um, I loved... Is it six is too much for this card? It needed a better body or something. It was... Mm-hmm. I didn't like that you had to play with the top card of your library revealed, so... You're giving information to your opponent. I mean, sure, you get it too, but so yeah. do they. Yeah. So I think about I this with it. like counter spells. How bad is that? That's kind of great. I I know it's I know counter spells. People always think counter spells being like, "Ooh, I got them," but like your opponent knowing you have your counter spell sitting there makes them have to play very differently. But copying it doesn't really do that much. It's just the fact that it's. Yeah, like that doesn't do anything. On. That's true. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of an unfortunate card. I agree. So. Dennis and I have done some upgrading, right? All right, and here's what's going to happen. I'm going to read both cards. You're not going to hear just a single word of commentary mm-hmm. from us about it until next week, and and then we'll move on to the plugs, and that'll be it. So let's do this. Here we go. First, we have Ral Zarek, Is it Apprentice? For a blue and a red for a 3-4 legendary human wizard creature with tap, Reveal the top card of your library. If it's an instant or sorcery, you may cast it this turn without paying its mana cost. Otherwise, untap Ralzeric. It also has haste. Flavor text. There are very few problems that can't be solved by simply trying again. And again. Next. Zara, Temporal Wiz. Four, a blue and a red for a 4-4 legendary human wizard creature. It has four and two blue. Sacrifice Zara, Temporal Wiz, in the turn. Two red, tab, take an extra turn after this one. At the beginning of that turn's instep, you lose the game. Flavor text. Don't worry, I'm sure this will work. Zara's last words. Okay. How to vote, friends. Contact us at whosecardisitanyway at gmail.com. A mm-hmm. lot of you have been doing that. I appreciate it. That's where we got most of uh, the card suggestions this week. True. So uh, that's cool. Um, th- I'm sure at some point we, we might have to draw the limit on how many card suggestions yeah. we can do a week. I was I was cool with updating, but we're up I mean we're we're borderline like twenty cards we're showing off and it's getting it's getting a little bit crazy. Uh the Twitter is at W C I I A podcast. Oh yeah, we didn't say which one of uh the cards won. I think it was Thought Snatcher, right? Oh yeah, definitely Thought Snatcher, definitely. Congratulations why don't we just go back and give the congratulations that's in order here. We've got 
Daniel Sivertsen. Congratulations. <laughs> Thought Snatcher. Great job. Like it. Okay. So leave a comment with a suggestion for next week. And please remember to include the card cost, the color, the rarity, and the type. The permanent type, that is. Spell mm -hmm. type. You got it. And be sure to vote and make it clear for us who you're voting for. So say the card name. I'm voting for this card. I'm going to put in the video description images of both cards. Dennis, please plug away, sir. You can find me at, at Stranjack on Twitter.com or at YouTube.com slash WinMillSongMTG or on MTGOacademy.com and a whole bunch of other stuff, but mostly those things. I also edit for Brainstorm Brewery, but don't worry about that. Yeah. I do a lot of stuff, and you'll run into me a lot. And most of the time, you won't even know it's me, and that's when I do my best work. <laughs> and we've got, we're going to have a nice little spicy announcement from Dennis oh, yeah. next week. So yeah, I about that. We won't say it. We won't say it yet, but that's coming up. Uh, I did some streaming today, so I'm, I'm going to try and do that on a more regular basis. I was late. Thank you, everybody. What was that? <laughs> because I was late. Oh, no. No big deal. I had nothing going on today. In fact, Full disclosure, Dennis is not wearing pants, and I'm in my PJs, so... I'm really I'm really not wearing pants, though. So, like, I'll pan down a little, and that's as far as I'm willing to go. Because after that, it's all pan city. <laughs> all right, well, you get a... Look at that. You even get a free strip show at the Saucy. end from Dennis, so... Perfect. Hope you enjoyed it. We're going to see you folks next week. Happy voting. See you Happy all later. Voting, kids. Bye-bye.